Hey guys, it's Twitter on Maxwell here, and welcome to episode number 31 of the Glasgow Rangers save. Today is Derby Day, it's Rangers vs Celtic, it's a chance to go either 13 points clear of Celtic or just put the gap down to 7 points, but with 10 games to go, it's vital, it could pretty much see the title wrapped up and allow us to just kind of relax and, and see out the rest of the season. So the advantage is we've got a good record against Celtic recently, uh, we're at home, and hopefully you know we haven't got too much fatigue from the Monaco game. Uh, the team's already been picked. I'm deciding to go with Kevin Trapp, Andrew Robertson, Shane Lowry, since he was ineligible to play against Monaco, Jimenez, Ryan Jack, Godino sitting in the halfback role, uh, Baumgartlinger, Kristic, Yurchenko, Craig Whiting, and Isaiah Brown, with Robbie McCrory, Fabrice Sinkala, Joaquin, Ryan Christie, Lee Wallace, Abraham Bolado, and Stevie May as substitutes. Uh, I've changed the team instruction back to retaining possession, shorter passing. I believe we're a better team than Celtic, technically, and hopefully that can be reflected on the day. So we're even money favourites, Celtic 11-5, the draw 11-5 as well. They line up 4-5-1, they've got Craig Gordon, Emilio Izagiri, Renigson, Maiziga, Adam Matthews, Jensen, Beaton, Stefan Johansson, Stuart Bannigan, Scott Brown, and top scorer in the league, Rosesco as well. A decent bench as well, Derdiok on there, Lee Griffiths. So it could be tough. But hopefully the boys can, can put in a good positive performance and uh, we'll just set them to relax, give the fans something to cheer. That's enough motivated players for me if I'm honest, just make sure the more offensive minded players are motivated and just sort the defence out. And hopefully the boys can give us a performance to be proud of and hopefully put us in firm pole position, firm control of the SPL Championship. Let's see Johansson plays one in. Mazaga, get it away if we can counter here. Andy Robertson, his distribution has to be perfect. Gives it to Jimenez, who leaves a lot to be desired. Bannigan to beat on, this is what I was worried about, the extra man in midfield. Jensen, and somehow a great save from Kevin Trapp. Means we get by that, that's fine, that's excellent. Although we lose another defender injury. Which means again, Ryan Jack's going to cover the centre half, meaning we are only going to have one fit centre half and that is Ryan Jack when we take on Monaco in this up and coming second leg so I may need to change the system for that but a pretty drab first half nothing really happening so I'll say to the boys aggressively I'm not happy everybody's motivated so you know we go again there's no point in being negative and making hundreds of changes when you know ideally we don't really need to win the pressure is more so in Celtic. Yurchenko's going to play one in. Lowry, Asaya Brown. And Sinkala, of all people, gets the goal from the rebound. His first goal for the club. What a finish. Nice wee flip there. A bit lucky, as I say, the ball comes in from Yurchenko. Lowry with the initial header. Brown's in there. Whiten's in there. Great save from Craig Gordon. And then in Sankala just gets there first and puts it in the back of the net. That's all. It's a good finish and that puts us in firm control. We've got another chance here. I'm just going to take Brown off, put Stevie May on, see Stevie May. I think there's a lot to come from you. Robertson to Christic. Out by Brown. Yurchenko. And nearly a double for Ensign Kala, taking his opportunity very well today. And with 19 minutes to go, a nice wee 1 0 lead. Can we hold out? Stevie May is now on. Is Yurchenko going to take this corner? Plays it in, and it looks like they've got it cleared. It's a good position to be in at the moment. And I think we'll give it another 10 minutes before we maybe calm down and go more kind of counter-attack him. Let's we'll see if Yurchenko can pull this direct. It puts White in. Stevie May's on his own. How's his one-on-ones? Great save by Craig Gordon. Probably needs a lot more composure from Stevie May, but... Good opportunity nonetheless. I'm going to take off Godino, he's got a bit of fatigue. He'll be replaced by Joaquin as we just try and see the game out. Get a bit more energy in the middle of the park. Let's we'll see with 15 minutes to go, hopefully the boys can hold out. We'll just quickly go to standard. Robertson picks up a yellow card. But it seems to be quite an even an even game. We've just had more clear cut chances and, and thankfully we've took one. Stevie May on the run. Not the place to lose it, but that's just a good job. We'll get the extra body in midfield to clear it up. 
see what Enkin Sala can do. There's Robertson wide open in that left hand side there. Pretty poor with Danny Hughes but a good run. If we can find it, Stevie May. And that's it. Game set and match. Fourth goal of the season for the long haired Wanda. Just great build up play there. Joaquin to Sankala. White and great run from Bon Gartlinger and Stevie May just puts it in the back of the net there. 2 0. And that puts us in an absolutely incredible position. So in a pretty low key old firm game, it finishes here. Rangers to Celtic now. It puts us in a fantastic position. 13 points clear with 10 games to go. It means you know we can play with a bit more creative freedom and it'll allow us to go and, and attack in this last European game and, and hope we do well there. But we'll just wait on the referee confirming it. Even though it is pretty much all over now. Bannigan to Jensen. There it is, a full time whistle. Set the boys, very pleased. As you can see there, 13 shots to 8, 5 shots in target to their 2, 54% possession at 46. And with 2 assists, Bom Garflinger with man of the match by an 8.5. So 13 points clear, 10 games to go. It's looking good for the title. And hopefully you now we can secure that, we can secure the League Cup final. And hopefully we can somehow produce a miracle against Monaco. So thanks for watching this video guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And until next time, this is Twitter on Maxwell. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.